Hey friends, it's Christine. Welcome to my cozy corner of the internet. I had a totally different video planned for today, but um, as is typical for me, once I start digging into a concept idea, one thing can lead to another. And now my simple little idea has turned into something that I want to create a course on. <laughs> so I had to like kind of figure out what I was going to talk about today. And I decided to share a course or a concept that um, I developed a few months ago, and it's called the Core Desire Method, and it is for writing romance. Now, this is for writers who don't identify as like plotters or pantsers, but you just don't know what you are. And I developed this because I am what's called an intuitive writer. And really what that means is, um, you kind of fall into that category that would be almost like a puzzler, like somebody that can envision different scenes, but you don't know how they're going to fit together with the larger narrative. Or maybe you are a new writer and you're just kind of getting your sea legs and you're trying to figure out like how in the heck do you write a whole novel with just a kind of like a few ideas and you're not really sure. And every time you sit down to try to plot, it feels like super overwhelming and you're just like, I don't know what I'm doing. And then you want to give up, right? So if you're either of those two people where you're like, I have all these ideas, but I don't know how to make them into a thing. Or if you're like, I'm new and I don't know how to write a plot, <laughs> this is for you because chances are you're probably an intuitive writer. And I've talked about this before on my channel. George R. R. Martin talked about the different types of writers where you're either an architect or a gardener, which is, an architect is somebody that knows all the little details ahead of time and you're really creating a blueprint. And um, by the time you sit down to draft, all you have to do is write your scenes. And so that is a very rare bird. Um, and then there's the gardeners. So these are the people that plant the seeds as they go along. And maybe they're writing out of order, maybe they're not, but you're planting seeds that might take fruition later throughout the narrative. Um, so that's one way to think about it. But if you are used to the concepts of plotter, pantser, and um, in romance, we say panty liner for the ones who kind of use a combination of both. This idea will help you because it's something that is more based in intuition and um, having a sense of things, like a feeling of the kind of narrative that you want to write, but you still need structure. Unless you're the type of person that just wants to like go from be beginning to end and pants the whole thing and just see what you got. But that can be hard for some people, including me, where you're just not sure where to go. And sometimes you just need a little something to hang together in order to create a whole structure. Um, some people are really against the idea of a, a structure in their novels, and that's okay. If that's you, this isn't for you. This is for the people that need a structure, maybe not one as detailed as an architect, but um, that you need a little something to know where you're going. Um, it can be very daunting to sit down and write a scene and you're just like, I have no idea what's even supposed to happen. And I can tell you, I've written so many scenes and spent so much time trying to write scenes that I just throw out. Now that's not bad in terms of practice, but if you're actually trying to get a novel done or get a narrative done, um, it, <laughs> It, it wastes your time. I want you to complete your projects and to complete your novel. So <laughs> I think that you'll find this method really helpful. I'm going to put it in a separate video because it's long. It's like about an hour long, the PowerPoint that I created, but I will post it right after this video and I will leave the link in the description box so that if this interests you, you can just go ahead and look for that video and click on it and watch just the PowerPoint presentation. But basically what I did was I used this book, Safe Haven by Nicholas Sparks, you don't have to read this book. It's helpful if you watch the movie because I use it a lot in the um, for the, the examples. Um, and as I said, this is for romance, but I only specifically say that because when I was looking for material for like intermediate lessons about how to write a romance, there just wasn't anything out there. So um, this could be for beginner or intermediate romance writers. Um, and I just like to position my content towards romance writing because that's what I write. I write nonfiction as well, but um, when I was trying to find information, I just couldn't find it. So that is why I've made that distinction. 
I hope that's helpful. And the other thing I want to say about this method is just that like, as, as all methods, you want to use what makes sense for you and then make it your own or leave the rest. There's no hard and fast rules about writing or developing your own process. But one of the things I felt I found really frustrating when in the beginning when I was at that point where I just was like needing help um, was that so many other writers would say to me, oh, you know, I, I, I don't really know what I do. I don't really know what my process is. And it was very vague, like all a lot of writers are very vague about what their process is. And I'm not really sure why, because um, knowing other people's methods can really help you discover your own. So the only caveat that I have for you is just take what works, leave the rest. But I think a lot of this will work. I want to give a shout out to Ronnie Lauren, because when I took one of her classes this summer, something that she said um, really clicked with me. And first of all, Ronnie is identified as a intuitive writer as well, meaning that she knows the scenes that she wants to write and um, she writes those first. Now, she is a very practiced and prolific writer. She's got a bunch of books out. Um, and so to hear her say this, um, that sometimes she doesn't know quite uh, many things when she sits down to write um, was helpful to hear. So, but she does go through a lot of different processes um, and explorations before she sits down. So in other words, she's kind of creating a intuitive template, like a, like a, a place to go in her stories. But it was very um, liberating to hear that there's other writers out there who just sometimes, like, they, that they write this way. I just remember the moment when I started my MFA knowing that I wanted to write romance and asking some of the mentors, I don't know what to do. I, I'm not sure, like I need a class on how to write romance. And I had already taken many classes about how to write romance. And um, a lot of the advice I got was just sit down and write. And that was helpful to an extent. I mean, because because it created a like supportive and encouraging environment. But I wanted to know how to write a romance. Like, you know, there's there's more to it than just grocery shopping a character and, you know, designing another character and putting them on the page to see what they will do. That's fine if you're doing like NaNoWriMo or something where you're just doing an exploration. But if you need to like, like a romance novel is like a puzzle. And there's so many moving pieces because you have the, the hero one, the main character, and then you have the hero two. And they're, they each have their own um, character arc, but because it's a romance, they have an intern, they have a character arc that entwines like this, that tells their love story with all these kind of meeting plot points along the way. And so it's a puzzle. And if you don't know, like, what you're doing, it can be so frustrating and, and really so frustrating to get your ideas off the ground. So I think that if you are an intuitive writer, this will really help you. So the video that I'm gonna post is called The Core Desire Method, and um, I will post it. You'll have to, if, if, if you're watching this like past 2023, um, you'll have to look for the video, but it will be right in proximity to this video. So let me know if you try it or if you think that it is something that is going to work for you in your writing. The last thing I'll say is just, um, it doesn't have to be, you can use this method with your own like personal self-exploration. Like if you're writing memoir or if you're writing, just like trying to get some ideas down, like it doesn't have to be like, oh, your intention is going to be that you're gonna write a novel. It will still really apply to whatever you're trying to write. But my intention with this uh, video is just to teach you how to take your idea, your intuition, and create a structure that will help you write a novel and a narrative that makes sense, that helps you put all the puzzle pieces together. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. Look for the video. It's also linked down in the description box below. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.